separating my Mengano and Boma Cichlid. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Fish Keeping Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so one of my last videos in which I shared with you, I shared with you the separation of my yellow labs. I had a total of about probably about 16 within one of these tubs and I actually split the you know the, 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 the total in half put this in 8 in one tub and 8 in another tub they are doing really good right they are doing really good so now they are spaced out I'm not sure about their sex as yet so I'll just um keep on uh, monitoring them to see uh, if some distinctive mark for male and female in which I'll be doing a video on that in the near bit right um is now pronounced so i can actually um say okay then um one male for every three females all right so today we're looking at mangano right now i started to do the prep work right the water is already um down to a particular level and uh i have placed the the, the, the vegetation we call plants in one tub and uh, this is another tub in which i plan to keep some the reason being is that i do not have vacant two tubs so as to do the separation and i cannot um just uh release the water and place water domestic water into the container my fish will die because of the, the the levels of chlorine plus i'm actually filling up refilling uh two uh ibc tote in which i've released uh water so as to get some tilapia fingerlings to sell to a client i've actually removed the stones and i've actually gone to inspect the stone and show that there's no babies in the stones um i've done all of this already in a separate video and i've done it in the separating of my yellow lab uh, stock right in one of my most previous videos regarding a boomer all right so um obviously there are no mengano within the space now mengano and yellow labs um to emboma right with the mengano being the rougher type should i say be the more aggressive right the yellow lab should not be placed with with um with emba uh, with, uh, with mengano right it's more easier to sex the mengano at the stage in which they are at right now which is about one inch than it is to actually sex the the the, the, the yellow lab so I'm going to be placing all of them between one container. I'm going to be splitting them down the line, 8-8. Eight, eight. And depending on the ratio of male and female within the space, I might end up having a lot of males in one and like two, or two males and more females in the other. So I'm going to be doing all of that right now. So this is just a precursor to, precursor to what I'm going to be doing. Okay, so I've already, well, I've completed the extraction of the mangano um i would say juveniles from out of the system right as i shared with you before manganos are more uh easier to sex at this age at this size right one and two they are more aggressive than the yellow labs so what i'm going to be doing right now is to try and separate them based on their I call it on sex ratio um you know placing some amount of females with some amount of males now the sexing of 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 emboma is predetermined well I, I should i say the amount of of males or females within a particular stock is determined on the temperature now emboma original from africa and if you can actually imitate the temperature that exists within uh where they are originally from you'll get a nice sex ratio being too hot be too warm or being too cold can um inspire your spawn to be males or females now this is one of one of my baby emboma uh, mangano right i am trying to and I need a little stress from the mere fact that you see how it's marked you know that this is a male right the color the, the, the stripe is dark in color right so this is a male all right 
so this is a male juvenile emboma all right now there are a couple females in there i'm gonna be placing with this male all right let's look at the females now female also have stripes sorry for the camera to be moving up and down like that i am trying to maneuver everything using one hand with the net and one hand with the camera right now uh the female emboma this is a female emboma right <laughs> it fell into the water i'm not gonna go back oh here it is yeah this is a male this is a male dark stripe same here. right so i'm gonna allow it to be there i'm gonna be placing about seven in this space and a female is in there already so i need about probably about three more females hopefully i can find three females all right all right let's look at them so the female stripes are well should i say the female body is a little bit lighter in color than the male right so this is a male also oh this is a female right he's a female but a young female right and it looks like a female i'm not a hundred percent sure right the male is a little bit darker this looks like a male it's a male man right i'm gonna be placing that there i can go back this is a female right I'm a female there, there. It's light blue. Right, cool. Mm. Right. Um, so the light blue ones are the females and the, the darker blue ones are the males. It they have a tendency of um actually flexing the colours. So they might trick you. You believe in that they are females when indeed they are male. Um whereas when you are like it it depends on what emotion they are actually going through right but this batch of emboma looks like mostly females it's another female here right this is a male right this is a female as you can see the female lighter stripes not as hard blue stripe like um the other one in which i took up recently is a female right? ah. so it's three so i have so i have seven so i have seven here so i have several um mangano in this space i'm gonna be placing this into a tub the same tub in which i actually took the yellow lab out of yesterday that's the tub in which i'm gonna be placing these seven in originally i thought that i had wow oh, mangoes oh bird the same tub in which i took the yellow lab from i'll be placing several manganos in it right these are the this is what i do I try my very best not to place the water from one container to the next. So as I said before, they can flex the colors, right? All of these look like females, but as the temp, the, as the arm, um, the the what I call it now, situation changes, they just flex back the colors to be the original dark blue or light blue, right? So these are the seven that will be placed in this tub, right? The seven manganos. And they will stay here for about the next three four months and uh hopefully they will give me some babies right so i release them they're within the space no longer you have 14 mangano within a 55 tub this allows them to actually grow and funny enough mangano the masoni blue lab uh yellow lab aratus 
all these emboma in jamaica right now they can fetch a healthy price as far as money is concerned so therefore at any cost i'll try to ensure that they are spaced out and i am able to get some monies from them right so the container will stay like this for a while these are the stones right just remember that yes i had placed 14 manganas in this space right so it will be like this for a bit i'm gonna go inside and probably get something to eat i'm out here from early this morning and um i'm gonna be washing out this container and then place back the vegetation in here and the manganos that are in this one the seven that are in this one will remain in this one until tomorrow morning and then now i place them into the tub that i've washed out today this ensures that um the as i said before nobody dies right nothing dies is it for fish keeping jamaica guys thank you very much for stopping by i hope that this video was instructive peace out catch you next time bye bye